Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD Beta video. We are on version 12 right now. Finally we got it here in Canada, so I'm going to take it out for our first impressions. This is the first time I ever uh, try using it. So let's see how it goes. I've got the, uh, the set, was it the automatic set speed uh, functionality, like the new one that we've got on version 12. We've, I've got it set on, or started on, and we can see right off the bat we're a little bit on the slow side. Um, not too bad since we're in a residential area, so I'm okay with that. But uh, I'm gonna have to watch this if this is uh, usable on the highway, because I know on, uh, on highways it might be a little bit too slow. So right off the bat, very nice turn over here. We are coming up to uh, a little bit too slow here on this turn. I wonder if any of the snow banks over here is going to affect any of this drive. Um, but uh, excited to see how it's going to perform. So right off the bat, we have uh, a lane ending over here. So it should actually take the left lane over here. Uh, it probably won't do that, but it is coming up to an end here does come to a slow uh, slow down that lane actually once it ends it and nicely enters the roundabout here it's kind of like going on the right side a little bit I like the way it goes through that actually it's not too bad 30 kilometer speed zone immediately sees it it's actually a little bit too uh, quick to notice that uh, than the usual so lots of things happening very exciting though it's uh it's nice. So yeah, if you folks uh, like my video, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. I haven't been posting much because I was just on 11.4.9 for the longest time. So we just literally got version 12 today in the morning. Exciting stuff. So it, start, it should go up now. It does see the 50 kilometer speed zone and starts uh, slowing. It's still a little bit on the slow side. I, I really hope they, they fix the, uh, the profile here. Actually, I am on... Uh, the chill profile so let's put assertive and here we go you can see the speed went up immediately so that's actually pretty interesting I might sit on assertive just because of the set autopilot uh, set speed uh, set autopilot automatic set speed uh, functionality so just to be a little bit more on the um, on the closer to the speed limit uh, I am going to just uh, put this on auto, lower down the temperature a little bit. It's a little bit too warm. Okay, not too bad. I'll speed you up over here till this uh, traffic light changes green. And a right, very nice acceleration right off from the from the traffic light. I really like that. That's, yeah, that's totally different from version 11. I'm very excited for that. That was one of my main complaints in V11. The takeoff from the traffic light wasn't that, uh, and, and very quick detection for that closed lane ahead of us. Once that car in front of us moved to the left, it immediately signaled and, and went away also to the fast lane. Very nice. No hesitation there immediately signals once we pass that to get over back to our lane that's going to be turning us to the um, high speed uh, high speed street coming up over here very excited to see how this turn is going to go because once we turn right over here we're on an 80 kilometer speed zone uh, road it's a very high speed uh, road and we need to make our way all the way to the left for that and we've got traffic coming in over here let's go Let's see how this is going to do. Uh, we're just missing the traffic here. There is a gap. This is a merge, so we shouldn't be stopping. Unfortunately, that wasn't really good. I'm going to tap the accelerator there. Signals to go left. And a nice push. And we're up over 85 kilometers an hour. That's pretty good, actually. It does slow down right now. Because it does realize we need to go to the left. So I wonder what's it going to do. It's actually not this left. It's the, the one after. So there we go so this is one of the scenarios that I want to test right now it has to make its way over to the left let's see if it's gonna give it signal there's a car coming up behind us as well I like the new visualization oh wow it does stay uh, it does stay stationary for a bit longer than what I'm used to Ooh, and it's gonna stop here for this yellow light is yes it does 
Very good. Okay, so the merge scenario didn't really work well um, once merging into the street, but then yes, the um, the it, it is making its way to the left, so I'm hoping it doesn't miss the next exit. So I'll speed you up over here till uh, this traffic light uh, changes green. All right, green and a very amazing acceleration. I'm really loving this, and it gets ahead of the of the traffic behind us. V11 used to just stay. Uh, back with the traffic to be honest but uh, I like this more it should make its way to the left I'm not sure what's going on at this case in this case right now there we go we've got the signal it's a little bit short before the actual turn and it should make its way to the left turning lanes over here look at that nice trajectory what's it picking oh it's getting a little bit confused there oh and it's going in the middle <laughs> what is that all about? Interesting. It stays in the middle of the two lanes and then it starts wobbling left and right and it does pick the left finally. Huh. Yeah, I wish I can uh I wish I could report that, but that's a official like I have to disengage to do that. So let's see how it does on this turn. Okay. Ooh, a little bit hesitant, eh? Okay, and there we go, there's the acceleration we like. It's very cautious doing a turn, but then it's uh, it's not too bad actually. Uh, and I am going to just disable here this waypoint, and I want to put my waypoint back here again, just because I want to test. Oh, it's got to slow down to 30 km speed zone here. Oh, it does, okay. Oh, why is it stopping? In huh, interesting. Okay. It did speed up there a little bit too much for my liking at that 30 kilometer speed zone. Now that the uh, end playground zone is here, Okay, now it sees the 50, because it's right after it. It's not really speeding up yet. Should go faster. I'm gonna give it a punch. Huh, I wonder what's going on. I'm gonna give it a tap here and it does accelerate. Otherwise it was stuck at 30. You know the kind of the things like, it should really nail down not too sure so there is still room for improvement really all right then we are going through this turn over here I like that it signals way before going into the turning lane that's also a good improvement or a new improvement let's say we've got the flashing green light so it should hustle up over here and oh yeah okay I'm going to give it a push just because we should have just went through that. I can see why I need to recalibrate my ways of driving to be honest because I see I can see what people are uh, complaining about to be honest yeah and I want to go through there so we'll do a left over here and then there's a merge scenario that I want to test out as well where version 11 version 10 just basically didn't do well at all. And I can see a lot of folks mentioning the issues really ab around the, okay, the offset. Huh, I wonder if, let me just disable this for a bit. Absolutely. So yeah, this is on, and I've got the 10 kilometers relative, so you do actually have a way to increase it. Alright, so it should go 10 over the speed. It's a flashing green light. Oh, it's not doing well. It's not doing well. And it gets close. 
close to that curb over there and that's another issue that we learned about <laughs> oh man I gotta okay all right it needs more testing I need to I need to do this a few more times and uh, to to come up with my conclusions but right off the bat it doesn't seem it does very well uh, I'm sad to say we are coming up over here to this merge scenario that I've uh, that I mentioned so um, let's see how that goes okay it does go it slows down to 50 here it is the due to the construction the construction is on straight ahead in front of us it's not on the right so uh, technically we should start speeding up on this uh, leading up to the merge Okay, and I'm coming up here to this turn. V11 gets a little bit too close to the left side. I see already a little bit of improvement here. There is no traffic next to us. Nice signaling, finally we got the signaling to merge into the freaking street. Cool. And then we need to turn a little bit more again. Are we, are we gonna be able to catch our left turn coming up here? Come on, you gotta give another signal left. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Go left. Come on. Come on. And this is also a little bit of map data, to be honest. So, yeah. Here we go. We're missing our exit now. Oh, and it's getting confused. And we should be turning left on this. Is it? Or, oh, actually, we are going straight ahead. All right, never mind. It's doing well. It's doing well. <laughs> I'm trying to fault it, but it's doing well. <laughs> We should be coming up here, so we should signal here to go left. Let's see if it does well on picking a lane over here. It doesn't get confused like the last time. Okay, it doesn't seem any confusion over here, so that's good. Awesome. Very good. All right, folks, uh, I guess we'll just wait for this turn coming up over here and then I'll end the video for now. So this is my first impressions on version 12.3.1. And you can see it over here, version 12.3.1. Just got it today, hot off the, the press or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. Help me a lot. And if you're looking to buy a, a, a Tesla, use my referral link and I'll have it down at the bottom of the video. Um, all right. It's a little bit hesitant on this left turn. I have to say, turning like on intersections is not that great, which is weird. I thought that was like I never heard anyone complain about it. Okay, folks, so this is it, and uh, the next video is going to be about um, multi-lane roundabouts, and I'm going to head right there and do that video right now, and I'll post it up uh, after this one. So. Hope you folks have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.